welcoming women, newfound power, I mean, freedom. <laughs> what else do you want? I mean, like, honestly, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I've said this over and over about Maureen, but it's, she, she's just so efficient, so good. She does not, you know, turn around in circles. She gets the question, she goes for it, pound, 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 all the elements and that's it. Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Portellas and for today's video we have a very special reaction because we are going to be looking at Maureen Montaigne's entire journey during Miss Globe 2021 prior to the coronation night. Meaning that as of right now, while I'm filming this video, the coronation night has not happened yet so we don't know what is the final outcome of the competition. I'll make a separate video just for that. But for this one in particular, I wanted to sit down and have an open conversation with you guys to know how do you feel so far about her entire journey, everything that she did? We're gonna be talking about swimsuit, we're gonna be talking about a head-to-head -head challenge, we're gonna talk about national costume, final gown, we're gonna touch on her Q&A as well, and I'll give you my general impression of the entire thing and the chances that Maureen has of making it to the finale. Since we have a few videos to cover, I will not extend myself too much during the intro. The only thing that I'm gonna ask from you is that if you enjoyed this reaction and commentary, don't forget to leave a like so that my video gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, let me know in the comment section if you agree with my comments, my reaction, what do you think about Maureen's performance? And most importantly, do you think that she can actually get the crown of this globe? All right, my friends, so without further ado, let's get into today's reaction. I really, really hope that you enjoy it. All right, so to get this video started, we are going to check, first of all, the swimsuit presentation of Maureen for Miss Globe 2021. Here we go, enjoy it. Mm. The twirl. Yeah, okay, let me let me pause for a second. I promise I'll go back. Don't worry. But look at her body for a moment. The girl is so so fit. Her abs are more defined than my future and my sexuality blended together is like insane. I can only imagine the amount of preparation that she had to put in when it comes to her body, her diet, you know, making sure that she stays on top of her game at all times because swimsuit, you know, it's all about looking sexy and looking beautiful and like how you walk and present yourself but your body gotta be looking right. That's like one of the biggest challenges for this one in particular. That was a great start right there with that twirl, you know, turning around, ah, exquisite. <laughs> Let me go back a little bit and let's watch. She's always smiling giving you diversity when it comes to the face, the hips, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sassy, turn around again, yes, okay Maureen, <laughs> looking back a little bit, I love that, oh time for the scores, let me see, if I remember, she got like an almost perfect five, score. Five, 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 and a four. We already know that girl with the four, she was jealous. Oh, oh. Just look at her face. She was like, mm. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It's like a personal preference for the judge. I personally feel very, very good about Maureen's uh, entire swimsuit presentation. And as a matter of fact, she got the second position for the entire uh, challenge of swimsuit. So that's already remarkable. The only thing is that I would have loved to know what was it that the judge that gave her a four was looking for that, you know, pushed her to take a point away from Maureen. But you know what, let's not dwell on that. She still did an amazing job, so. And now we're going to be watching her head-to-head -head challenge. This one should be interesting because we already know that Maureen has amazing, remarkable communication skills. So let's see how she does and I'll give you my comments as we go. Chikeme and good evening everyone. My name is Maureen Monte, representing the Philippines. Hi Miss Philippines, kindly pick a question. Thank you. And this is your question. What are the advantages and disadvantages to today's youth using technology? I think that social media and technology is a blessing for our generation. Now, more than ever, we have access to education and information. I myself have not been able to see my parents for the past three years. 
and technology has been able to connect me with my family. So for me, it's inevitable and it's very, very important to be used properly. Of course, anything in excess has to be monitored, but I do believe that technology has been such a blessing for all of us, especially during the pandemic. Thank you so much, Ooh. Miss Philippines. Amazing. Another question that I feel like I've already heard at some point, uh, maybe during Believe in Filipinas or something similar, but I was watching on Instagram and actually the page of Titas of Pageantry shared a video of the Miss Globe uh, CEO, owner, national director, whatever you call it, saying that they're looking for a social media girl, someone who a big, heavy presence on social media who will be able to, you know, bring value to the brand, spread the word, and ultimately give more visibility to uh, the brand. And what I've noticed so far is that a lot of the questions and the things that they throw at the girls have to do with social media. So if you are not following Maureen yet, please go ahead and follow her because this is a decisive factor um, on whether she makes it or not. But going to her delivery, I feel like this was a perfectly, I mean, logical answer makes sense she is excellent at justifying every single thing that she says and you know to be honest it's one of those questions that it doesn't matter how you answer whether you're for social media or against it what really matters is how you justify it and to make sure that people understand where you're coming from and that she always delivers on that level so amazing nothing to criticize and this is the second part of the competition which the girls will be competing miss mexico kindly picked the country that will ask you a question. Miss Philippines. Hola, Miss Mexico. Hola, oi, so Latina. Question for you is what <laughs> is your greatest achievement and why are you proud of it? Please pick the country that will ask you the question. Miss Guyana. Come on, Miss so Guyana. My question to you is to a woman who has been asleep for 30 years. What would you say has changed and why? Oof, that's a good one. Well, I would congratulate our Sleeping Beauty for waking up and I would say welcome Sana to the world. Fresh. Women here are powerful, we are strong and we have a voice. And now it's your time to chase your dreams. We can make a difference in this world and I hope you enjoy your newfound power. Oh. Thank you so much for the Philippines. And this is the part three. Okay, that was so, so simple, so straight to the point, but you have all the right words that I know for a fact that this pageant is looking for. Empowerment, welcoming women, newfound power, I mean, freedom. <laughs> what else do you want? I mean, like, honestly, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I've said this over and over about Maureen, but it's, she, she's just so efficient, so good. She does not, you know, turn around in circles. She gets the question, she goes for it, pound, 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 all the elements and that's it. Three of the head head challenge. This is going to be their closing statement competition. Ooh. And this is for them to speak to you, the people of the globe. To be the next Miss Globe is both an honor and a great responsibility. I hope to share my advocacy of feeding the hungry with everyone all across the globe. I hope to inspire everyone in different nations to help their communities. Our micro actions can have macro real world effects and I really hope to share all of my soul and energy with you all. So thank you so much and don't forget to vote on the official The Miss Globe website for Miss Philippines. Thank you. Thank you. She did an incredible job at summarizing everything that she stands for, everything that she wants the public to remember, and how to help her on her journey. So, I mean, once again, this is one of those scenarios where I'm just left here, like I don't have anything negative to say. From the delivery to the choice of vocabulary to the attitude, everything is on point for Maureen, so. And just to support all of my comments, all of my critiques, let me tell you, Maureen actually made it to the top nine of this particular challenge, which in my opinion, out of the amount of girls that are within this pageant, it's a huge achievement. So that's amazing. This was actually the head to head challenge. And actually the next thing that I wanted to talk about was the Q and A section. However, I did make a separate video just about Q and A. So if you guys really wanna know my comments, you can go and watch that video in details. However, I will tell you that Maureen was extremely conversational. That was the word that I used to describe the entire thing. In the sense that she was able to answer every single one of the questions in such a simple way that it almost felt like a conversation. She was giving us a lot of success, but in a way that you would almost feel as if you were talking to a friend. So that was another achievement for her. 
Now we're gonna be checking out her national costume. So let's see what she brought to the table. Stunning. <laughs> this is beautiful. Wow. Okay, let me stop for a second. I just want to get a, a good view of it. Okay, so if we look here at this particular national costume, so obviously it was inspired by Sampaguita, which is the national flower of the Philippines. Such a beautiful execution in the sense that I definitely get the reference, especially with this, you know, back part that she has that clearly uh, is the flower. But when you look at the costume itself, what she is wearing, like the headpiece and the actual uh, swimsuit-ish thingy that she's wearing, Girl, the amount of detail, I can only imagine how long it took to make this piece. And on top of that, you know, it's very on brand. What she's wearing, it has this undertone of green, which, you know, fits the theme of the flower. Uh, the boots, I love that they're white and also, once again, contrast with the flower itself. And that it all feels so, so polished. Because sometimes when we're watching, because sometimes when we're watching national costumes, if it's a little bit too costumey, it can get, you know, a little clumsy sometimes in the sense that things sometimes look like they might fall apart sometimes they even do fall apart but this one in particular i feel like maureen can really move can really do her thing walk on the stage and all without having to worry and that adds a layer of confidence you can see how beautiful her smile is you can see how smooth her movements are and also i know for a fact that i mean she's a professional she rehearsed so much for this because you can tell that she already has kind of like a little choreo that she's gonna do with this so I love it from beginning to end. Very on brand for the Philippines and also very on brand for Marie. Next, we're gonna be talking about her final gown, which we already know because she did disclose it during her send-off interview alongside Cinderella Obenira that uh, both of their gowns were silver for the coronation night. And we happen to have a photo of her gown looking beautiful and so, so regal. I don't know how to explain it, but like, luxurious it just looks like she is dripping in diamonds in raindrops in tears i don't know you name it but it just looks expensive <laughs> and on top of that you know maureen has a very timeless beauty in the sense like she has very you know classic facial features um a very fierce look and the way that she styles her hair her makeup when you put it all together with this gown in particular i feel like it's just exquisite there's no other way to describe it this gown was designed by Luis Van Linen and he did share uh, a video on TikTok where he gave us, you know, a preview of the gown, even Maureen trying it and, uh, you know, kind of like going through her fittings. Amazing. I cannot wait to see this gown on the final stage of Miss Globe. So, so far, I believe that this is going to be really a shocker. <laughs> And now you guys, right before we end the video, I wanted just to talk to you guys a little bit about my expectations for Maureen going up, about my expectations for Maureen going into the coronation night. To be honest, I feel like so far she has been so, so consistent. And this is not to sound biased. This is not to for you guys to think that I'm just trying to, you know, uh, please everyone. No, I believe that definitely Maureen has done an extremely good job during Miss Globe 2021. I could easily see her snatching that crown, but once again, we all know that it depends how coronation nights go. Uh, but when you think of all of the challenges so far, she did very, very well in most of them. For a few of them, she was within the top two. Uh, she was within the top nine for head-to-head -head challenge. She did so well during Q&A as well. Uh, swimsuit, she was one of the highlights, almost a perfect score. So I really have no complaints. In my opinion, and I actually selected a video to summarize the entire thing and just kind of like let you go with that particular video. As soon as I landed here at the airport, I felt like I came home. Everyone here has a quiet charm to them. They're so kind. When you walk around, people say hello. And coming from the Philippines, we take our hospitality very seriously. And I'm so happy to see it's the same here in Albania. I feel safe. Everyone is so kind and the food is very fresh. I love the fact that the pageant is feeding us healthy food. So thank you so much to the Miss Globe Org and I can't wait to explore more. There are lots of ancient ruins here, so much history, and I can't wait to explore with the rest of my Miss Globe sisters. Guys, my camera died in the middle of recording, so I'm just gonna finish this with my cell phone. But what I was telling you is that I feel like this video really embodies the essence of Maureen as a person. 
First of all, she looked amazing. And this is something that you can always get from Maureen. It's consistent all the times. The looks are perfect. Um, the next thing that I wanted to highlight was her communication skills. Once again, I feel like I've said this over and over again, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it because you get the point. But ultimately, what really made me want to close this entire video with it is that within such a short period of time, Maureen was able to acknowledge the kindness of the people from the country that she's visiting. By doing that, she also let us know of how warm and how welcoming Filipinos are. She gave props to the organization for taking care of the girls, serving healthy food. And last but not least, she also promoted the tourism of the country. I mean, everything in such a short period of time. Where I'm trying to go with this is that on the important challenges where Maureen had to present herself physically, she always showed up. When it was required from her to speak, she was able to, to deliver. She was able to deliver amazing answers and great speeches. And when it was expected from her that she gave us personality, relatability, that's exactly what she was able to pretend. So in my opinion, Maureen has a great chance of winning the entire competition and take back the crown to the Philippines. And you know what? And if that doesn't occur because of something going down during coronation, I expect her to be at least within the top three. So that's pretty much it. My reaction for her entire performance so far prior to coronation night. In the comment section, please let me know if you agree with my comments, my feedback, all of that. But most importantly, I want to hear what you have to say. What do you think about Maureen's performance? And do you think that she will win the crown? If so, who will be the top two and three in your personal opinion? While you add it in the comment section, don't forget to leave a like on my videos that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, come here and give me a hug. That's a little solution on this channel. You know that I love you, that I appreciate you. Thank you for coming and spending a few moments out of your day here with me. And until I see you next time, please stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love, all my kisses. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.